I was living in Preston Hollow, sitting at the kitchen table, reading the newspaper, and I read one of these stories in the Metro Brief section. And I went, how did a man get to a place in his life where he wanted to cut out the eyes of women and keep them? And I became, I went on a year-long journey to try to discover his life and what happened that made him act this way. And I ended up at one point taking my stepdaughter Haley to a house, abandoned house that he once owned, and we broke in looking for stuff just to see what we could find. I mean, this is how crazy I became trying to learn about a crazy man. Haley was 12. And her mother was thrilled about it. What? When, how did you explain this to her? She needed no explanation. She thought this was the greatest adventure that she could go through. It's to go along with me and look for evidence in an abandoned serial killer's house. I mean, when I think back on what I used to do with her and the way I would let her tag along on these stories it's crazy where else did you take her well <clears throat> there was a there was a trial there was a trial where, where i got the tapes of the trial they were they were using videotapes of the trial just for an experiment and i got a hold of all the trial tapes and watched them at the house and she sat on the couch bent forward, eyes unblinking, staring at this trial about a bank robber and making commentary all the way through the trial. So it's a family thing now. It is. It's a genetic disposition. My wife has it. She has a great love for crime stories as much as I do. I've sent us all spiraling into hell. How often did she come with? They were just. It was just a couple of times, but... Yeah. It's time she will never forget. Good family time. <laughs> family, bond, family bonding at the Hollandsworth house. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing like walking, over, walking into a house that is completely empty, that you don't belong to, not invited to, and you knew a serial killer used to live there. It's joyful. It's sweet. Is that something you do with your grandkids? Well, the time is beginning to come where I can lay in bed and tell the grandkids stories, made up stories, and they like listening to them. And it's really sort of my favorite thing to do in life is make up stories, for ghost stories for children.